capillaries. Templar Assassin. He was just time with a ticket, just like you were. Go to TV. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We are here with game number two, Navi versus OG. Trent, we had a couple of randoms. Again, the unlikely random of the Doom going back for S4. But looking at both of these drafts objectively, what do you feel about these two teams right now? Uh, I feel maybe a little scared for EG. I don't know. This is uh, pretty nice. You got TA and Alchemist. It's going to be interesting to see uh, <laughs> where No Tail's going to wind up. He's, you know, you don't really expect him to go mid because he's going to try and dodge out probably both the Alchemist and the TA ideally and try and match himself up against the General Weaver. But Navi are going to be trying to avoid that as well. Plus, we all have TPs, uh, which, as you guys all saw in the most recent patch, you can't easily use to no block, block mid anymore, anymore because of the 10 yes. seconds. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about Navi's, honestly. A lot of minus armor, great synergy, yeah. lots of physical damage. Agreed. And this could be trouble for OG in that regard. Uh, I do want to talk about these starting bounties. Of course, we have no GG branches. We have no mangoes. You asked for I tried. Navi. You I tried, tried guys. Them. Uh, smoking. It looks like Navi are indeed smoking. They're trying to bait a level 1 Roche. And they're trying, yeah. Both of these teams running over, trying to fight this level 1 Roche. Is it going to actually Look, they're happen? pretending. They're on the other side of the pit, so they think they're, they're actually, actually being there. He almost walked in. He thought about it for a moment. Now he won't do so, and he'll back himself back up to the high ground. So <laughs> There's some mind games going on, for sure. Not only, not only just the, the we're smoking aspect, but even just the level 1 Roche potential. So... All right, right, we're, we're going to start, start things, things off, and we're going to give them this game set up the lanes and see how they start. It's what down I mean, that would be pretty incredible. I, you have the minus armor from the asset. It's possible. It's been done with uh, such terrifying lineups that don't really look that great level 1 Roche, but right. it won't be done this time. Not going to happen. No such luck for we're us. We have to wait for uh, our Ursas or something. To come yeah, out. maybe only Rude. I don't even know. I haven't seen level yeah, 1 right. Roche in the... I'm not it's been a while. About that. The old Wraith King strat, yes. Skeleton King back in those days. Leoric, as it were. Anyway, we'll jump into the game. OG will move up. Fly will help out against Dendi to start things off. Rezo, he went for the Conjure Image instead of the... A lot of the times you'll see Metamorphosis level 1 for Terrible, but I think in order of canceling these refractions, uh, Conjure Image is going to be good in that regard. Yeah, very nice. And uh, this is definitely the matchup they won't admit against the TA. Very high armor on Rezo. This was um, like when you were facing an Alchemist mid lane, right? So he kind of had a good shot at either one being there. But uh, with all the bounty rune changes and movements, we tend to see Alchemist in the safe lane or the off lane these days, depending if you're going aggro or not. And right. that's what we have this time. So No Tail's going to be pretty cautious with his spiders. Yes, indeed. And I mean, this is the new Brood Mother. We've seen it before. He might have a bit of a tough time up in this top lane. But we'll keep our eyes going. Rotating mid again is going to be Jarrett. He's got ice shards. No snow wobbles. He's on level one. He'll drop the board down. There's Jackal coming in. They're looking for Danny Good's leader to crush the follow up. And that should be the end of any engagement. I don't believe. Roger Roger should know, know that, that yeah, he, he, he doesn't, doesn't actually see uh, 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 no tail, no obviously, no, or rather Jarek's is pretty, pretty far back, back so with the rise field for that. Yeah, no tails, feeling the heat up here. He's got four tangles left though, and then he's starting to get those levels up in the web, so he'll start getting that uh, HP regen rolling. Definitely a little rough for sure. Meanwhile, mid lane, they're going to have the meta, and Danny's going to get chased down. He has refraction, I believe. He's going to actually... Oh, they have a great, great block ready. ready. Ice Shards will hit. They're going to get this kill, I believe. He has no fairy power, nothing to save his life. Jerax with the beautiful Ice Shards again. OG. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. Jerax. Damn. Way to go there. <laughs> Yeah, very well done. The second he went in the trees, you knew he was just done for. So, good patience there from Jax to ensure that he'll have a nice little isolation for the perfect shards. And get themselves that first blood. And, uh, overall, things looking pretty good. Yes, I think so as well. There's a lot of CS going the way of Navi, but both bottom and mid are going okay for OG. S4's finding Finding farm. The biggest thing is top lane. No tail is essentially functioning like an icon right now against his Alcaus. He does have a few denies, but... As of right, right now, now, it's more about mid and bottom. 
Yeah, uh, a couple different things that'll be changing top. When the Soul Ring comes out for Crystallize, that'll be the Mass Acid Spray. And then when Notel actually has some levels, he might have some kill potential with the rotation from Jerax. Yeah. Pretty unlikely Jerax can do much in the bottom lane as S4 is already being punished for his low armor. Not fun. He's already used his Scorched Earth. I don't think he'll get dove. He's pretty yeah. tanky. He's got wand charges as well. And you can see his solution uh, was he bought a really early chainmail. I like, like that. Uh, up against a, a Weaver, like what else can you really do, honestly? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Get that extra armor going. Try to survive a bit more in that lane. Get some extra farm going your way. But uh, a lot of the supports have been sitting mid. Why? JRX has been rotating around, so they're not really getting the most experience in the world. They're essentially functioning in this like a defensive, uh, or not rather a dual lane for resolution, so he can secure farm. And he's only at eight last hits, so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, and Notel's not having too much trouble, honestly, with the acid. He's just moving the spiders in and out of it, making sure they don't die to it, and uh, not feeding anything over to this alchemist. Controlling the wave, too. You can see him holding it outside the tower range. And uh, it, it's not the easiest thing for Crystallize. You can go back and body block. Yeah, so. Bottom lane. Uh, Looks like they're looking for General, almost burning down to the Infernal Blade. He might tick to this, and he will. It's going to be a kill. And S4 will get the kill and experience before going down. But Sene Seneco does come in and he throws it to Solo Sunshine, I believe, and that's more than enough to get that kill. So it is a one for one trade, but that is an excellent trade there for S4. Trend. Yeah, and a very happy couple of supports, though, as they get some uh, actual creep gold here for a little bit. Yeah. Finally. It's beautiful. Yeah, but the core has come back and the dream is dead. Now Jirax will have to be careful, but S4 up to level 4, getting that experience. Meanwhile, Roger looking for the 4 minute rune, it's a DD rune bottom that I'm sure now they're going to pick up. In fact, General is going to be the one that grabs it, it looks like. He's rotating, this is a, this is a, this is a Weaver rotating and looking for Fly who's level 2 and Fly is in so much trouble. The double damage to Shuruji, the ice, the ice shards, oh my god, that actually might save him. Jerax, you're a god. And the Swarm doing a lot of damage, but Fly will survive. In the meantime, No Tail gets a solo kill on Crystallize. Oh, that went so well for OG to keep Fly alive there. They're still diving. In the meantime, he's looking for Rezo. Rezo's in trouble. The Conjure image, he pops the meta, and General has to back himself up all of a sudden. What the hell? That was insane from Jerax. Oh, Dendi snowballed up. He's got Refraction. He needs to be careful. I don't believe they'll be able to get the kill as the Refraction will keep him alive. The snowball already used, so... Now they're rotating back around, like you were mentioning, Rogers nearby. Let's see. Radiant's top tower is under attack. They'll see each other. And, uh, in the meantime, again, they have to rotate the lanes. No Tail is getting a great time top lane. He's up to 30 last hits. He got himself a solo kill. The rating scan will be successful, so Dendi will get back to his mid tier one tower. In fact, Roger's going to spot him here in a moment. Are they going to go back out of Dendi? Dendi's a little bit out of position here. The snowball. They've got the shackles. They'll get it off in time. No, the refraction comes in and they'll cancel it and fly. It's in some serious trouble. Roger gets three in in two seconds. Ice shards. That almost saved him again. Good attempt from Jerax. You got to go for those. Exactly. Definitely a lot more hard farming for sure, though. Uh oh, Jarek just got Ancient Prowler shot, and he's about to die. Slithering Crush to come through. Soul Assumption, Crystallize has the Acid Spray, which will drop down. Can he get to the Shrine? Jarek, he's going to survive. It looks like he's even got the Frozen Tigil as well. They're going to have the Grave Chill. Good, Slithering Crush. No, dodged by that Snowball. They've got the Shackles. That will keep him alive. Jarek is making so many plays, and Roger just has to run. Oh, my God. They're going to find Roger, and they have Shackles back up again. They're even going to be the ones to get the kill for OG. You've got to be kidding me. That is, that was an insane play. That snowball dodge from the tusk. Jerax is on point. Yeah, all of a sudden you're getting brooded. In fact, General needs to be careful. He's got time lapse. He's got Shuchi ready to go, even as a sentry to make sure he can deward whatever boards were dropped down by the uh, brood mother. But yeah, this is suddenly going great. Dude, he is zoning. He is the top net worth, even ahead of the alchemist. No tail is having a great time. He's going to do a lot of damage to General. Another spawn spiderlings. General will scooch away. He just uses a time lapse. And, ah, man, this is starting to look kind of rough all of a sudden for Navi. He's seemingly out of nowhere. Level 6. 
going to go for Suneko. He actually, yeah, he doesn't have the point. He's less skilled up. So he actually is in trouble now. He's going to get caught. There's the soul such a scorched earth. They're looking for a the ring crush. They're about to find it, and they will. It's just on the edge. Resolution just got Dendi in the meantime. They just brought No Tail in, and he was able to secure a kill. He is making so much space. They're going to work on this tier one tower now. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. When Scorched Earth is up, he's very difficult to bring down, and now he's going to crystallize. Good ice shards. The Infernal Blade jacks again. Another beautiful trap. Crystallize is in trouble. He's got no way of maybe dealing with that new chemical rage. The ensnare command. They actually need more damage. OG cannot bring him down just yet. Meanwhile, on the other side, Roger getting chased by No Tail, but instead he will turn off and head on to the other side of the jungle with the triangle camps. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he, he needs to get that extra gold going his way. And, They have a 2k advantage, and they've secured two tier 1 towers, and Dendi, he's, got, he's gonna have to get some stacks, but I think they're giving him to crystallize at this point if there are any. There is one stacked up here, you can see the side trap for it, so that might get taken by OG, but at this point, you need these stacks to get back into the game, especially for Dendi, or maybe even crystallize. Mid lane though, they've got Dendi, they have the snowball to come in. Here comes S4, the Infernal Blade, that'll take his distraction down, he's gonna get shackled up with a good slithering crush, he has to hex. Actually, Roger still has it available, another Infernal Blade, one more auto attack, he's trying to deny to Roche, but S4's Infernal Blade maxed up, does way too much damage in this early game, and another pick. Ice Shard's almost setting on Roger, he's actually almost stuck again, but he will be able to slide through. And they won't be able to chase him down. And in the meantime, again, Trent, it's no tail at the tier 2 tower. Yeah, it's, uh, they gotta get these sparklings. There's so much money there, and you just can't find them. And no tail's just out of there. He's a full Yasha done already. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah. Scanning. Okay. We will have S4 and OG sitting bottom. Why? Also nearby. Uh, Crystallize getting chased down top lane though. No tail looking for a solo kill. Chemical Rage will keep him alive for now. They have another spawn Spartalings. But he has the armlet which will keep him alive. Nice timing with that armlet to save himself in that mid lane. Or Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. They're just pushing bottom. They are chasing after Jerox again. Snowball safe for now, but I don't think it's going to save him much longer. As he will get dropped and finally Navi secure a big kill. But again, like you mentioned, bottom and top and then top again. They're still diving Crystallize. He has another armlet to work with. No till I don't think dies to tier 3. He's going for it for now. This is crazy. No chemical rage. He's going to pop the armlet. I don't know if you could do this, No Tail. He is in deep, but it doesn't matter. He's already taken the tier 2 top lane. They will get the bottom tier 1. Navi are starting to lose. Oh, Dendi almost gets caught in the mid lane as well. No, Resolution didn't have enough damage to bring down Jerex, who had a double damage room. Roger even rotating it, but they can't find the kill there. And they're just getting run around the map by OG Trin. Oh, Doom bottom lane onto General. They're going to find this kill. It looks like it is Shackles. So they can't even get a denial from Snake. He'll go for the TP. Inferno Blade is up. It's going to be two kills going for OG. Oh man, baiting out the Slither Crush, couldn't find it that time, but instead they're going to turn on to Crystallize. They have no meta, it was already used, but he's going to pl take plenty of damage here as he drops the uh, armlet off. And No Tail needs to be careful, Ice Shard's coming in, Roger, they'll avoid it, and they're going to try to fight this. Here comes Seneco, another doorbell coming in, got another, it's the Midas phone it feels like, no OG. <laughs> they're going to instead look for General, but he's, he, he needs to be careful, he was underneath the Sentry Warp before, oh, should be fine. Great. 
this is looking pretty bad. They're gonna find Roger again about him. They've got the snowball, they've got the ice charge. He's gonna get dropped. Walrus Punch, S4 takes him down with the Infernal Blade. Looking for more Seneko, he's gonna Grape Shield himself out, but he's gonna get ice sharded. No follow-up though from Jerax to, to throw a snowball up or anything, but again, another tower with Serpent Ward getting dropped down. Candy and OG are just, they're, they're ratting, they're split pushing, they're finding kills, they're doing everything correct. And Fear's bed is looking pretty pretty good right now here, Trent, I think. Give me the inside scoop. Let me let me tell you what you need to pick here. But instead. They're trying. They're trying for sure. As OG are moving together as a team. They're looking to try to take down, rather take down Navi who are at Rose, which I think OG no. They have no Doom. S4 might be in trouble here. They have the S spray and the armlet toggled. S4, soul assumption coming in. Snowball save from Jerax to make sure that they can save the fight. They've got another hit coming in, so they're impressed from Roger. Misses completely. Crystallized getting chased down. Instead, it's Dendi. These Spiderlings, I don't think he's going to survive for much longer. No Tail secures the kill. It's two dead. Rezo pops the meta. They can take Roast themselves. In the meantime, General starting to tick down to the urn. He has the time lapse ready. Snowball's up for Jerax in one. He might even see him the ice shards. General might be in trouble. They have Warwars Punch. He does. He uses it, and he's about to drop. He didn't get the urn off. Jerax earned himself instead of General, which would have secured the kill. Still, General is alive. The Ice Shards almost missed him, almost hit him, and General is able to TP away. They even scan. Oh, so close for Jarex, but he, he's playing out of his mind here, Trent, let's be honest. This is insane, dude. That Ancient's gone. General's not really farming that well anymore. He's trying to get Defusal. The Alk, of course. He's the only one, really. Got it. Yeah. I mean, they need it. They... If he can get to that Radiance and prolong this game, then he, then he can get back into it. They, they can find a couple of kills, perhaps. But OG, they... Snowball, Dendi in trouble, getting caught. They have the Infernal Blade. Ooh, good familiar drop. They need to check the use yet. They'll drop the Sentry, I believe, and there it is, and Dendi can be caught. Side Trap coming in is another refraction in one second. He might survive the Infernal Blade, the Doom, the Walrus Punch. Fly's getting caught by these familiars. In fact, he might fall here. He sticks up for now, still alive to Nako. He's gonna get either shot down to death, and now General's trying to man fight. He will secure one kill here from the snowball. General is hasted up. Dendi thinking about turning and fighting, but again, he's very low. He has a fraction back in eight seconds. He already has it now. General will get an Infernal Blade again. They'll pop the blade mail, and General almost gets dropped. In fact, he might tick down. He almost did. He has time lapse available. He might need to use it, but again, that would put him back into a pretty precarious position. So, again, OG, they will lose Fly, but they gain a couple of kills out of it as well. Hotel might be the one to get caught. He actually have mantas and just avoids any slithering crush, but it comes a little bit later. And here we go. Jerax is running in. He's got the ice shards. Misses it on a Roger. Now they have to turn their attention elsewhere instead of onto these familiars. And like he caught, Snowball will come in. They'll take one down. They will take a second. It looks like there's one more auto attack. Now, perhaps. The urn picking it up. They really wanted it. Now Jerax is in trouble. They're going to have the soul assumption. He's going to get caught. So they're in crush and he's going to fall. Now one for nothing trade. They're looking for Denny, who does pop the refraction and resolution, chasing him down. I don't think he'll get that kill elsewhere. They're going to find Seneco for no tail who is doing so much damage. His Manta is back up, available. The Corrosive Haze is on him if he wants to drop it off. And now General needs to be careful. No-Tail can get up to the high ground. Rezo chasing down Crystal Live. The Unstable Concoction will hit. That'll hit onto Rezo for now. Just onto his main hero. He still has the meta running. Meta doing so much damage. Roger's going to get ticked down with these Spiderlings. It's the spawn Spiderlings. The raindrops not going to keep him alive, though. Crystallize now getting dove underneath the Tier 3 tower. No-Tail's going to pop the ultimate and go to work at Crystallize. He's got to arm the toggle, but No-Tail is doing way too much damage. It's a double kill. A mega kill spree for No-Tail and OG. Now have a 10k advantage. They will take a Tier 3 tower, and they are just running all over the map, Trent. They're just gonna go to Grosh down the checklist. Can they do it this time? 
lactose intolerant, or rather tolerant, excuse me. We haven't seen that many bounties. The bounty situation has also, wait a minute, is another one. Uh, so we haven't seen OG smoke, and they didn't say we're smoking, so that's now done for them. Um, no, this game. Oh, that's right, it's only once a game, or once a series, excuse me, sorry. You are correct in that. My apologies. Resolution will pick up the Aegis. He won't, uh, he won't deny it. He won't leave it on the ground, so Aegis, that, uh, that's gonna be done, though. At least for this first Aegis. Anyway, 11k advantage, 18 minutes in, and, uh, it looks like they're just gonna go through this checklist, take down the, the Tier 2 tower, and perhaps go high ground. We'll see. Although, no tail getting kind of chased. I'll dust the dick. Ice shards. Oh my god, Jerex, you need to stop. It's a problem. They've got the Doom. He's going to get chased down here in a moment. He is not as speedy to run away from Fly with Shackles. He's going to try to get in the Roast Pit. He's doing his best. He's going to get Hex. The Infernal Blade does so much damage to the Ether Shock follow up as well. And uh, he's dead for 30. My god. I mean, he, this is one of the best Tusk games I think I've ever seen. Roger is doing a great job pulling this wave, though. This is... yeah. S4, no doom. Crystallize is gonna get on and out of there. Infernal Blade will hit. He's got his Relic. Blade Mill's gonna go, and Crystallize is in some serious trouble. Unstable Concoction, Infernal Blade comes out. Crystallize will get it off onto S4. Crystallize still burning down a little bit. Needs to be careful. Continue the toggle. Keep will TP home and away and make it back to safety. And yeah, you're right. This is exactly what Nobby have to do to get this out back into the game and to get them back in the game as well. Our chase. They want the spiders. General has the time lapse away as no tail pops the Mantis style. Trying to get some vision down for the Radiant. And they have Serpent Wars for Fly, but there's a wave here they need to be careful with. They're going to have General getting caught again. The Ice Shards, they need Dust, though. He gets hexed up until a little bit too late there. spider Wings will chase him down, potentially, if the Southern Crush comes in and keeps him alive. Side Trap coming in and No-Tail wants more, but again, like you mentioned, no spider Wings. So if you get to these uh, familiars instead, Snowball, that's not the other familiar. Jirax is in the base right now. Jirax is dead, it looks like. He's going to get dropped down to General and Seneco. My bad, he says. That is true. They have a flats now for OG. They have everything really they need other than Jerax in order to put down these buildings or try to take a fight. So uh, they still have Aegis for like two and a half minutes, I think. So this is just slow things down here for now and get get what you need going. Got it. Yeah. Oh, gee. Very close first game between these two teams. Dendi does have a Desolator now. Maybe he can get some big damage with, uh... If he can get this Blink Dagger, he can jump in. Oh, bottom lane. They're gonna try to find S4. He's pretty tanky, though. He almost gets the Doom off. Southern Crush comes in. A very big kill for Navi. General, he is gonna get the Mega Kill Spree. That is huge. Ice Shards looking for Seneco. Here comes the Snowball along with it. Jerax is taking damage. He's in trouble. The Crows of Haze, they're all still here. Fly needs the Hex. Jerax is in trouble. Soul Assumption. He gets strapped down, and now Crystallize is coming in as well. Oh, gee, this is not the fight they were looking for. Fly has to use the Ghost of Prevention of Southern Crush. He's going to get caught. Three dead, and Resolution. He has his Aegis. He needs to run. The side traps are there. It will hit him. He's on the run at this point. They won't chase him down. They have to deal with their base potentially. The No-Tail not quite in at the Tier 3 Tower just yet, but a very big fight for Navi there, Shren. It, it was plenty of damage. Jirax came in, tried fighting. Even him with the medallions, not able to survive once that corrosive haze is on him and he just gets destroyed. So, no kill. Flaren crushed up. He's got Manta. He's pretty tanky again, especially against physical now that he's AC. Roger needs to be careful. No kill will hide himself in the tree line instead. Uh, Hex up. They're gonna find the uh, the shackles on the slaughter as well. And here comes the spider wings. Spawn spider wings will go, I assume, to get the kill. One more auto attack, and No Tail does 
a ton of damage. Yep. No Tail is definitely feeling good this game in terms of what he's accomplishing for sure. Oh, they're trying to find Dendi. They have to. Oh, they can't quite find him though. Yeah, they need to be careful for sure. General trying to find some split push bottom, looking for a maelstrom, which makes a lot of sense this game when you think about it. Against the spiderlings, against everything, trying to bring some of these bigger waves down, some extra damage going your way. They have the radiance, obviously, for the Alkyaz is uh, almost building into the match. He's got the Asha for now, and here we go. OG maybe up to the high ground. They need to be careful. Rezo has his meta. He'll pop it for now. He's trying. There it is. Glyph will go, but Serpent Wars have been dropped down. No tail is in the base with Spawn Spiderlings. Dendi has to back himself away. His refraction is down good. Unstable concoction. That's on to two. The familiar drop as well, but Jerax is going to back himself away, and Rezo is still very tanky. Hex comes out. Now no tail backing up from that 2-3 in the mid lane. They're about to get both of these Raxes here. He can't get it. This, this Rax are gone. It looks like they are going to get the melee Rax at least. They might just back up. Dendi needs to be careful. No more refraction. He's doomed up. Dendi's dead. Ice shards. They can't even deny him, and they will look for more. Roger and Seneco on the run. Unstable Kakashi will hit onto two, but the snowball from Jerax pushing them all back. He's even got the frozen sigil. General is going to come in, maybe try to find Jerax. He has a defuser blade, and he's actually in a lot of trouble. And Jerax will fall. It looks like Shikuchi and one more auto attack will do the job, but they've got the shackles. They're going to trade it for Roger. He's somehow still alive. The Warriors punch from Jerax. He's actually not going to fall here. Unbelievable. He will get earned up. He'll stay alive for now. And on the other side, they're chasing after No Tail. Crystallized. He is getting slowed to oblivion. Resolution will come in. No meta, but he doesn't even need it. Ice shards. Kevin Courage will come out now. Fly needs to back up with the rest of his team. Roger will do just that. Actually trying to beat them away, or rather get them away. As Slytherin Crush, he gets hexed up. Jarek will finally fall. On Simple Concoction, hits onto Resolution. They'll grab the kill on the Roger. No Slytherin Crush available. Crystallize, there's the Reflection coming in as well. He needs to be careful. The Infernal Blade doing so much damage. The Blade Mail, the Radiance Burn. S4 gets a double kill. He might even get a triple kill. The Infernal Blade is still up and ready to go. Seneca will juke to the north for now, but that might not keep him alive that long. General also still nearby. Resolution, another Reflection in two seconds. He has the Sunder if he needs it, but they're all so low that it's not going to matter. Reflection will come out. Can he get it off in time? Yeah. He's gonna find Dendi. Uh, side trap might keep him alive. There's no uh, there's no web in the base, so he will back up. But man, this is getting rough for for Navi right now. Maybe we'll get maybe we get there, maybe we don't, but I gotta try. The thought process, I think. He's a bit booster, he's going Crimson Guard. And looking pretty rough for Navi. They have a 13k deficit, they're down 0 1. Smoke's coming out from Jerax. He'll drop a sentry down on Sibyl Concoction, but Blade Mail is up for due. And they will try to go in here and try to push this base. Right. There's nothing they can do. I mean, the illusion's are already going bottom. On Sibyl Concoction will go, but there's not anything they can do to defend this. No tail is still just going to work. He's in the tree line. He might actually get caught. They have the Vicious Birds. They're going to defuse him up. He's getting a little bit low. Soul Assumption. This could be a huge kill, but he is still rather tanky. S4 jumps in. The Doom is up on. They'll get the Deny from Crystallize, but Roger is still down for 50 with no buyback. Unstable Concoction. There's the Blade Mail. Crystallize has to run. They're about to lose all their racks. The Vicious Birds will get cleaned up in short order as they shackle one Infernal Blade the other. And now OG overrunning the base. Although Rezo taking a lot of damage, going to get forced away the Soul Assumption. He will stick up. He has the Sunder available if they try to decide to chase him. No Tail's the one they want instead. Oh, the Manta dodge on that Desolator attack. That huge hit from Dendi, but he still might be in trouble. They're chasing down No Tail. He'll get to the low ground. They might be able to keep him alive. This Soul Assumption, finally they kill this spider. After long last, they squish him. And he will be down for 65 seconds. And Fly will be next. He's going to get the Ghost of Drop, but I don't think it's going to keep him alive for much longer. He'll try to turn, but uh, too little too late as Dendi throws up the Meld Strike and secures another kill. And Navi will smoke up immediately and try to go to work here. Got it. Oh, mighty money. 
right. Huge. No vision for OG to spot this. They, I think they might have spotted uh, S4. We'll see Roger who is Infernal Bladed. Nice dodge, man. So they're doing really good stuff there. Still, though, Ice Shard's coming in. They're going to take Roach down. This is Aegis and Cheese, mind you. This could be huge for Navi. In fact, they're going to grab the Aegis. They have the Cheese. No bounties this time, obviously. Makes sense. They're behind. They need all the help they can get not to get those bounties, especially. It's going to be an important factor for, for Navi. So they'll take it down. They grab Aegis and Cheese. This could be good for them. I feel like it needs to be a good Vistage Bird Drop, almost. Yeah, the V can't even deal with them. I mean, S4 is in the front line. He's got Crimson Guard, although he's a little bit too far up here. Zendi jumping in. The Snowball save coming in. The Hex comes out as well. They have the Doom available, I believe. No, nine seconds on cooldown, and now the Reflection coming in. And Dendi, he's actually blocked up the Ice Shards. The Infernal Blade, that's ages gone. Slytherin Crush does nothing as Roger gets pelted by Resolution. General's going to be next. He'll have to time lapse himself away. They have the Doom for S4. He's going to pop it. That'll be up under Dendi. He will certainly fall. Buyback is available. Down for 70. Otherwise, he will use it. S4, another amazing Snowball. Jerax is out of control. It's a double kill. And this is going to be it. It's going to be a 2-0 for OG. OG absolutely dominating this best of three series, especially game number two and they will take down Navi in short order.